This is Twit. The biggest news this week is like, look out, everyone. Google has a hit on their hand. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, already. Maybe. maybe yeah. um, so so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. But Google is really doubling down on, t on teasing the Pixel 4. Um, w w uh, before it's announced, we saw a couple of, a couple of weeks ago the when there's all those rumors were going around. And they decided to settle it and they tweeted about it. Well, most recently, the Google blog post details two features of the upcoming uh, Pixel 4: Motion Sense, which uses solely radar uh, the solely radar chip in front for detecting hand motion control. Uh, you can skip songs, snooze alarms, silence phone calls, and and stuff like that. As well as face unlock, uh, where the solely detects that you're about to pick up your phone and fires off the face unlock hardware sensor. Um, it's using facial recognition algorithms that are stored on the device in the Pixel Titan M security chip. Um, and what's even more amazing is that they shared a close-up image diagram of the top of the Pixel, showing all the sensors contained within the top bezel. Boo, there's a bezel, but still. Um, yeah, but, it, but and it's a bezel that justifies itself. Look at all that stuff yes, up there. Yeah, no Rock hands. Sensors. It's, it's a packed, it's a packed uh, bezel. Uh, but uh, and this all comes on the heels of of Google having a hit that uh, Pixel unit sales for Q2 more, Q2 more than doubled year over year, um, and that's definitely directly uh, attributed to the Pixel 3a boosting those sales. Yeah. Uh, so Pixel sales are on the upward trend, and so Google is just doubling down, and they're just they're you know giving you little tidbits of the Pixel 4 before it gets announced, which is pretty unheard of, right? Yeah, I mean, there, you know, yet again, you know, what was it like a month ago that there were those rumors and Google came out with its post and it's like, all right, here you go. Here it is. And we're like months away from the Pixel 4 so happening. And then we started hearing about this bezel and all the technology that's in the bezel. And now they put do a blog post and they're like, yep, here it is. Take a look. Oh, by the way, it's really cool. That solely thing that we've been talking about for years. Yep, that's coming here. Um, just an interesting approach from Google to basically harness the power of these leaks ahead of time so that when well, we finally get to the announcement, we're not let down, even though we will know yeah. everything it's like based on, on their own hype and it's actually cool features. That, that's that's what I say. That I think this is pretty genius because we've been talking over the past year how there are no surprises in phones, how everything gets leaked ahead of time. We see renders, we know about features, and the presentations tend to just be, um, you know, just confirming what we've heard. Google doing this allows to not only respond to those rumors and either quash them or support them, but also distract from the things that aren't being leaked. Mm -hmm. So that when we do get to the Pixel announcement, I guarantee there's going to be some wow factor that we don't even know about because we've been so distracted by the leaks and then Google confirming the leaks. I think this is a genius strategy. Yeah. How do you feel, Flo? Are you are you wowed by Soli in a Pixel 4 face unlock with like an actual, um, you know, a, a better technology solution for face unlock that face rivals unlock Apple's never version? Works for me. Never works for me, especially if I'm like wearing makeup or sunglasses, which I I have a collection of. Okay. Um, we'll see how this fares, you know, when this phone comes out. But I just I do want to bring up the fact that Soli was solely intended for uh. wear rubbles and <laughs> instead is being put completely uh, into this new phone, which just goes to show where Google is banking its money. I just think that's. Quite interesting considering uh, the trajectory that's been the last couple of years. So, I mean, it'll be, I guess it'll be a fun commercial yeah. <laughs> on TV, right? you know, show a little like whatever you can do there. Um, I hope it works better than whatever LG has got going on with the G8. But as far as will it increase the phone's value for me? Like, will it make me want to buy it? Probably not because everything I love is already in the Pixel 3 which is the camera. And until the Pixel 4 comes along and then you're going to love that too. Who knows? You're right. I don't know if that's going to happen because remember I ended up spending $1,300 on the Pixel 3 after I broke <laughs> it and fixed it. So I kind of like put a yeah. cap on that because okay. I realized that I, I definitely overspent my my budget. So, so I, I think I might end up skipping this one in terms of upgrading, but we'll see. Yeah. You're convincing yourself right now that it's not as cool as the Pixel 3. 
That's what that's what I see going on here. You're like, yeah, I spent a lot on the three, so I got to keep it. So therefore, the Pixel 4 is not cool. But I'm just echoing what so many consumers out there are dealing with in their own as well, okay? Yeah. I am I am speaking for the consumers here. Yeah, understood. Understood. And fair enough, because I'm assuming this is not going to be a cheap phone. Based no. on what we already know about the price of the Pixel 2 uh, and the Pixel 3, this is going to be in that same price category. And, oh, by the way, it's going to have a first-of-its-kind solely radar up in the top and, you know, a couple of extra sensors that a Pixel phone has never had before, completely devoted to face unlock in the similar way that uh, iPhones are, where it puts out the dot well, matrix, or at least I'm, I'm assuming, because they have multiple sensors on the phone dedicated to face unlock. So it's not just a camera. But what if the yeah. Pixel 4a... <laughs> Six months later, after the Pixel six 4. months later, has this. I don't know. I feel. I mean, I heard the news that Google was selling more three A's than threes, just because of that price differentiation. So I kind of feel like these phones are really just the look what we can do, and then the A phones are going to be the here's something more in your price range. Yeah. Which, but that, but that's what I've been saying for years that we needed a mid-range phone from yeah. Google that we yep, and, like, and and I feel so validated this is working and it's funny because that we said you know that they, they you know they've they've boosted their unit sales in Q2 more than two x um, but that's unit sales that's not dollar sales right True. but what's genius about that is that Google doesn't give a crap about dollars. Right? I'm sure they, I, mean, I mean, they do, but they're you know billion billion dollar company. Right, they, right. They're not a they're not a hardware startup that's going to live or die by their phone sales. Right, right. And what they're trying that's to do is they're trying clear. to get they're trying to get market uh, penetration for Android and for you know the Google ecosystem uh, as you know everyone fights for users in their ecosystem. That's the real play. So I, I mean, I'm surprised it took this long to get an affordable Nexus or Pixel or whatever Google device that there is, um, and clearly. It was the right move because it 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 you know doubled their sales. That's that, that's such a, a a testament to the fact that not everybody wants a seven seven hundred dollar to a thousand dollar flagship phone. Yeah. Some people just want to spend three hundred fifty dollars. Now, uh, Pixel. So, uh, Victor. Go out, go to that uh, Google blog post page, and there's a video up at the top, and it's pretty short, but it shows you Google's you know high you know high high priced promotional kind of walk through a little tease of what the technology with the Soli radar up top can do. And this is neat, right? Skipping tracks right now, as you can see, by waving the hand in the air, um, looking at the phone and having the phone come on, that's a part of it. Um, so, you know, it has this awareness, which we saw early leaks in Android Q of this like face, face awareness sort of feature. And now we understand what that was tied to. Um, but we've seen other phones do this. Wasn't it the LG G8 that had air air gestures and yes. it used the camera? And I would not say that it was a screaming success for the LG G8. I hope I'm getting that that model number right. Yes, yes. Um, but then it was doing it differently. Like it was doing it with a camera, so it was really fiddly. This is a radar that they've proven yes. for years now is specifically mm -hmm. meant to pick up this sort of movement and they promise more... Um, more capabilities over time. So I'm, I'm curious about that. I don't know how necessary it is though. Although if I'm driving, it would be really cool to be able to go like back one track, forward one track or answer or whatever. You know what I mean? I was just going to say, I have a feeling that these phones are going to become more of the look what Google's doing with all yep. of this stuff because this yeah. is going to, this, I could see this very easily being put into like the next hub. Yeah, or oh, the next yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, totally. so that you don't have to actually talk to it if you don't want to. Well, yeah. and and oh and this God. is the thing where if you take the flagship phone, if you take the thousand dollar phone, you put all the bells and whistles and all that stuff, and this is where they can show off what they can do with technology and the phones and the AI and stuff like that. And then you do a Google Pixel 4a that doesn't have Soli and still has the good camera and still sells. Mm -hmm. There's an aspirational level. There's a there's the idea that yes, I, I'm on a 4a, but man, I'm saving my money to go to the four or I want to get mm -hmm. the five, you know, like it, it builds a, a, a tier system of, of, uh, of where users want to attain to themselves to. And I think, you know, it still gives them the flexibility to show stuff off like solely. Yeah. Yeah. This definitely well, feels yeah. like a, a way for Google to show off the technology yeah. and then roll it into other, other yeah. hardware. I think you're absolutely right.
Yeah. Oh my gosh, this ecosystem is going to grow so much in the next couple of years in a in a very exponential way. Just like all those things Google is showing off at the old IOs way back in Moscone Center days. Like I'm it's gonna be wild. <laughs> it's gonna be so wild. Wild.